In this video, we're going to talk about some effects that we can apply to objects in V-Ray for SketchUp. And some of these effects can be obtained by going through the material and using special nodes. And here you can see a couple of these, which the first one is the rounded edges. So you can basically round or chamfer any edge or any corner that you have in the scene. And this is gonna look more realistic when you're gonna do a rendering. And also we will talk about grass and fur and how to also map many of the uh, materials that you apply to objects in many different ways using the V-Ray utilities and the tree planner node. So let's get started. I'm gonna stop the render here and we're gonna start with tree planner and utilities. So I'm going to continue to use the same studio set that we used since the lesson on lightning. And I'm going to delete this plane here that I've used to create the grass and fur effect. We're gonna do that later. And well, let me show you first the tree planner. And right here, I have two type of objects. The first one, it's a kind of a wall. And this is kind of an animative panel and they, they are pretty different, but the main difference is that this one is using a tiled texture. So there is a texture there, which is repeated many times without seams, without any visible divisions. And this one here instead is a simple image and it's a one-time image. So if I have to repeat this, I would see the divisions or the seams. So we can use the tree planner nodes and also the V-Ray utilities to fix a little bit these textures. Now, when you first apply the, the material to this uh, object, it may not show correctly or in the correct scale. So if we start to, let's select everything here and go into the V-Ray asset editor. Okay, so this is the material and I'm going to apply it again to the selection. So usually when I do that, it never displays in the correct way and it's probably going to show really small. So the, the first thing you can do to fix this is to go into the materials and change the tiling from here. So usually you should see something like this the first time you apply one texture, let me, okay, yeah, something like this. Well, of course, one quick way is to go here in materials and find out the correct scale and set it up just as we did before or through the material texture, but also let's go here and remove the material. So this is another thing that you can do with the V-Ray utilities. So. I don't have the material applied there anymore. So if I go back and right click and select, enter the component and select all the faces and apply to selection, there you go. Exactly, this is what, what's gonna usually happen. So you can go here in the materials or you can select it and use this tree planner projection world. And this is gonna usually place it in the correct scale. And this one here is gonna extend the, the image on your face. So it's gonna fit the image or the texture in the object, okay? So this one is usually good to scale up and have a tiling. And this other one is used to have a one-time texture like this one. So here, this, is, this is, doesn't look good because we can see the repetition and the seams. So it's better to have one time texture. And this one here is better when we do repetition, but this is too small. So we're gonna get inside here and change basically the tiling or the size. So bigger size, less tiling. Okay, we also have a tri planner node and we can use that when we have complex objects. Now these are really simple objects here. So we don't, we will not have this problem but I also have some more complex object that is gonna be difficult to map with a texture. So if I open up this model, you can use any model that you want. 
So for example, here I will use a drill. Okay, one of these and I will move it a little bit forward. And again, double click to enter the component, select all the faces and let's apply a texture here. So I'm going to apply a standard material, generic material, and then go here and use uh, one of the procedural maps. For example, I can add the checker. Okay, so that I can see this right there. And okay, so let's render this out and see what, what's gonna happen in a case of a complex object like this. So let's render. Okay, you, you can see that I can't see anything basically. I cannot see the the checker here. So instead of using the checker, I'm going to clear this and use a more complex triplanar node. So there it is. So I can apply and I can use one texture for all the parts or I can use uh, different textures. So in this case, I want to use the checker. So I just want to use one. And then I have the possibility to change here the size. So I'm definitely going to scale this up. And also the blend, which is gonna blend the faces together with a kind of a blur. Okay, so we can see the texture that has been applied. It doesn't seem to have divisions. It looks like everything is uh, uniform, but this is again thanks to this uh, three planar node. So it's basically using different uh, projection planes to project the texture from uh, six sides and using the axis, so the x, the epsilon z. So you can also change and create different, let's for example, use a noise in the second one and a, well, let's find another one and the grid. So here we are using three different materials. So it's gonna be more difficult to blend them together, but this is what the triplanar node does. You can see here it's trying to blur and do like a transition between a material and the other. But here you can definitely see how it works in uh, different directions. And so these are mapping tools that we find in V-Ray that we can use or we we cannot use. It's, uh, it's up to us. We can also do the 